This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. So listen up. Well, Laverne Cox co-hosted the E! Red Carpet ahead of the SAG Awards that happened on Sunday. And people were upset about this question that she asked Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith on the red carpet. Thank you for all the years of joy you've brought us. Thank you. We can't wait for more Red Table Talk and more... More entanglements and <laughs> no more entanglements. No more entanglements. Now people were saying that it was tacky that she would ask that on the red carpet and say that to them and uh, tell that type of joke. And here's how she responded on her Instagram live. So I've been thinking about it, and I've been, you know, I'm like, okay, let's. I if no one is above, no one is above critique. I like to hold myself accountable. So the thing is, for me, I love Red Table Talk. I love Red Table Talk, and I love what the Smiths have done with Red Table Talk. And I think my error is that I had so many things I wanted to say to the Smiths, and we didn't have time. I, there was some, probably someone in my ear saying we needed to rap. You know, my intent was not to mock or make fun of, but obviously I understand there's a difference between intent and impact. There is nothing but love, though. So she said, it's not an apology. She said, if the Smiths need an apology from me, I'll do it privately. I mean, I love I love this. I love when celebrities uh, interview celebrities and they get into this. But what Laverne Cox Why did, do you love that? Because what she did wasn't wrong. Like, she is interviewing and something popped up and she can talk about it. She can make about it a joke about it. But Laverne Cox also has to understand when people do the same to her, she has to understand where it comes from as well. But I don't see a problem with it. She did. I mean, it was funny. It got viral. There's nothing wrong with it. But you know, and we don't know if they were um, offended by it or not. But I will say, red carpet is different from other interviews because it is supposed to be all like fun and upbeat as people are going to celebrate. They always tell you, they are don't be negative or don't do mm-hmm. anything, you know, on the red carpet that could kind of mess up the mood. Correct. The, yeah, the questions I ask, we ask here at the Breakfast Club is not the same questions. Right. I when ask you do when a sit down interview, it's definitely different than being on the red carpet. But if, as a celebrity, when you go to do these interviews, sometimes you never know what somebody's going to say, and you got to accept it. You, you know, th- th- this is your life. You put your life out there, so people have the right to ask, to joke, to make a, a funny. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but red carpet etiquette is just different than it is. other things. It's it quick is. and agree. it's fun. I agree. All right. Mary J. Blige is executive producing Real Love. It's a a Real Love-inspired Lifetime movie. So I am so excited uh, for that. So as we all know, Real Love was a song from 1992. Can you believe it was that long ago? From the What's the 411 album, one of my favorite songs. And according to the Lifetime, the project is a coming-of-age romantic drama where Kendra sets off on her own for the first time to a college in upstate New York determined to focus on her studies. But when she meets her film class partner, Ben, she tries her hardest to keep Why are you talking like that, man? despite <laughs> disapproving parents, financial hardship, and competition for the top spot in class, Kendra and Ben find themselves falling hard for each other. All right, ye. And ultimately learn the meaning of real love. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. And shout out to our girl Ashana. She's one of the um, producers for it too. Shout out to Ashana. Ashana gets busy. Ashana hit me the other day. What up, Ashana? Did she hit your heart? No. You deserve she, it. No, she needed uh, my kids to do something for Nickelodeon, um, and she was reaching out to make sure that they were straight. So shout out to Ashana and Tina. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. All right. Now up next. Donkey of the day. Charlemagne is out. So if you want to give somebody donkey of the day, 800 585 1051. You can give him donkey of the day. Up next is the Why Breakfast Club. Why is everybody saying we deserve it? I don't know. Why do we deserve it? Mm. All right. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 